Hello South Africa. Load Shedding, Understanding Johannesburg's New Schedule Johannesburg's takeover of the load shedding powers from Eskom has not come without its teething problems as customers have complained of multiple blackouts. Good news for key businesses and industrial areas as City Power has decided to exclude them from load shedding in a bid to save jobs. However, residents have taken to the Power Utility social media page, asking for the load shedding powers be returned to Eskom. This is as they are load shed twice in six hours while on stage two. City has narrowed the problem down to a simple glitch. Our teams have been working hard since Monday to resolve the glitch and have found that there is no crisis, and unfortunately this phenomenon will occur in all the 16 blocks in the coming weeks until a permanent solution is found, City Power says. Residents can according to City Power, expect to experience the multiple blackouts, some on consecutive days, at least four times a month. The following suburbs despite being supplied by City Power, will continue to be load shed by Eskom the R, Shepesong, Luffering, Rootport, Hoogland, Marowaladle, Morningside, River Club, Dane Fern, Bluebell Strand, Waterford Estate, Riverbend, Kaisans, Bellas Park, Randburg, Halfway House, Halfway Gardens, Vaughan Valley, Willoway, Midrand, and Marlborough Transit Camp, Alexandra. We pay cash for videos. WhatsApp 060 011 021 1. This is Leah for the South African. Please subscribe for more news updates.